Okay, Mike Todd, can't wait to hear the gospel this morning. Let's go. Mmm. <coughs> Oh my good. You know what? I'm going to Brian Carnes church. I'm getting out of here. All right. Prophet Brian Carnes. Hallelujah. Let's let's hear the word of the Lord. Come on now. Let's 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 go. Jesus. Jesus. Why you come up with me to pray for you and lock your knees? Go sit down if you don't want me to pray for you. I'm out of here. John Gray, what you got for me? And when I get that breakthrough, all I really do is put my hands up. And they stay there. And they stay there. And they up, down, up, down, up, down. Because all I do is win, win, win. So we'll be going in. Put your hands in the air. And stay there. Are you serious right now? I just want to acknowledge uh, what happened yesterday when the spit hit the fan. I watched it back and um, it was disgusting. <laughs> like that was gross. I want to validate everybody's feelings um, that that was a distraction to what I was really trying to do. I was really just the other day, they pulled up a video all the way from May when I had on that green suit and the way I spoke to the young lady I think I told the young lady, don't be coming up there locking her knees. I, I wasn't telling her to. Anyway, whatever conclusions people came to is just absolutely amazing. And it's obvious that there are a lot of people who just don't like me. I was really trying to make the word come alive and for people to see the story. But yesterday it got too live. And I think maybe you should sit with yourself and say to, say to yourself, I just don't like Prophet Karn. And I own that, and um, I just want to make sure people know that we want to help people. We want people to see Jesus. We want people to feel loved. We want people who are desperate to be able to find hope. And I'm passionate about that so much so that I try to do extreme things to help people get it. And yesterday, it crossed the line. I would never do anything to intentionally offend, hurt, disappoint, do anything to cause anyone to look at the church in a bad way that happened in may i did see that video and i guess i did come across a bit rude and rough but that wasn't my intention so what's going on guys pastor frederick here if this is your first time watching by the book ministries one of my videos do me a favor and like this video and if you want more content like this subscribe and hit the bell notification button listen i want to commend mike todd and brian Karn for apologizing that's the least they can do because what they did was outlandish and just utterly ridiculous. But I do wanna ask this question, what was the purpose of the apology? Was it to save face, to preserve their image, or truly make a change? Because what if they didn't receive the public criticism? Would these men have apologized? I think not, because Mike Todd has done these types of things in the past. Brian Karn has a reputation for being a very hard to work with type of individual. So I don't think these men are sincere, and I don't think this was a genuine um, apology. This is what's concerning for me. But the problem isn't Mike Todd wiping spit on his brother's face or Brian Karn being rude and arrogant to a woman. That's not the problem. The, the bigger issue, those are offshoots of this root issue. The root issue is their need for attention. They crave and desire attention so bad. That's why they have these illustrations and these antics, but their antics and illustrations are becoming a distraction to the gospel. I watched it back and um, it was disgusting. <laughs> like that was gross. Um, that, that was a distraction to what I was really trying to do. But here's the dilemma. Here's the catch 22. Brian Karn and Mike Todd, they have to keep doing what they're doing because what you do to bring them is what you'll have to do to keep them. 
Let me read you a quote from a book called The Honest Guide to Church Planting by Tom Bernardo. He says this, We reason that once our seat fillers meet Christ, God will begin the process of transforming them from takers into givers. But we've unwittingly fostered an addiction. As soon as we attempt to wean them from it, they move to another supplier, concluding that this church just doesn't meet my needs anymore. We've seduced them into consumerism and in the process commercialized the gospel. This is Mike Todd's dilemma. His illustrations are not transforming people. Instead, they're creating addicts who want a bigger hit. So each illustration has to be bigger and more over the top. That's how you get spit on hands on a person's face because you have to go above and beyond the last illustration. This creates consumerism. And when you try to take people away from that, they go to another church. Brian Karn is in a similar situation. If he began preaching the word expositionally, verse by verse, becoming orthodox in his theology and sound in his doctrine, and he did away with the antics, people will be bored out of their mind. They would want him to lay hands on them and fall out and get all of these antics and deliverance. That's what he is known for. And that's what he better do to keep his audience. If he changes that, he will lose virtually 75 percent of his audience here's what we need to do guys we got to pray 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 for brian karn and mike todd pray that the holy spirit will convict their hearts and they would repent truly repent from the antics and the distracting illustrations and preach the rightly divided word of god and pray for god's sheep who are in those churches who are true believers but they're still stuck in manipulation Pray that their eyes will be open and they will go to a, a real church. And make sure that you're guarding your heart with the word of God. Make sure that you're comparing everybody you listen to against scripture like the Berean Jews. Even what I say, make sure you're comparing what I say to the word of God. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and like this video and subscribe to this video. Hit the bell button so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. This is Pastor Frederick. I hope you have a great week. This is By the Book. Peace.